Hello. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. I'm the honored one because I'm a huge fan of you ever since you've been a baby. I am so excited that you are here for so many reasons. I didn't know how much you were trained in like Kafka and Dostoevsky and Mamet, all of this heavy drama. And then you come <laughs> onto the scene and you steal our hearts, but more incredible, you break through and get nominated for a comedic performance at the Academy Awards, which is just notoriously impossible. You did it! I'm so impressed! I'm so happy for you! Tutor, I wish I could say it just like Borat, I love your relationship with Sasha Baron Cohen, who's also nominated for The Trial of Chicago 7. You guys have this wonderful chemistry together. What was that like working with him? Oh, it's been extremely inspiring because Sasha is a superhero. He's extremely smart. It's kind of scary how smart he is because he has a feeling that his brain never stops working. It's like click, 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 like a clock. Uh, and there is always potentially a better idea, a better joke. So the script was ever evolving with the greatest team that you can imagine. And we had three women writing to this, uh, to this storyline. And um, he's a genius. He is a genius. It's insane. He's but there super... is an insane amount of intelligence to what he has brought to the world, starting from Ali G and into Borat, into many of the characters he's played. And this film is, boy, does it have a lot of commentary on the world we live in. I have to ask you about the scene with Rudy Giuliani. Holy cow, what was that moment like? And could it have gone farther if Sasha hadn't stepped in? I was hoping that maybe the scene will go in a different direction because the more I think about it, the more I realize that for me as Maria is about how men sometimes, most times, unfortunately treat women and that this equality that we're fighting for and I hope my generation will start demanding is unfortunately not there yet. And, but we have to work for it uh, to create it because women a lot of times have been seen as sexual objects and that's not really the right thing to be done because I'm thinking about um, maybe he would have behaved differently if I was a man journalist. I was relieved when Sasha stepped in because I'm like, even though he's like in a teddy, you know, and like in this hilarious outfit, it brings like a sigh of relief because it just seems like it could have gone the distance. It, you guys push the envelope so far in this film. And I'm so happy for you that it is being recognized in a way that I think a drama typically would. It's a serious movie filled with a lot of commentary, a lot of exploration and examination of society and women and men and, I mean, I'm really grateful for what you put out into the world and I'm grateful for how it's being received. I do want to see our movie. It is a riot against misogyny and against subjugating women, but at the same time, not with like, this is so bad, this is so wrong. Just it's going to guide you to the way that you will be, okay, so maybe next time I'm, I'm going to think before, do something. Um, because it does reveal in people's true colors and we all need to, to do that, I think, I hope. Well, I completely, completely agree. Now, speaking of men of comedy who never lack heart, you're working with Judd Apatow right now. Yes. Can you tell me anything about this movie? I'm such a Judd Apatow fan. I'm freaking out. I love him so much. I'm too. And um, so the movie's going to follow the story of actors that are going to try to finish a movie during the pandemic. It's not going to feel like a pandemic movie and something that is going to feel us, make us feel bad. It's going to feel more like a holiday movie because it's a lot of people um, that are going to make you feel heartwarmed, heartwarmed. Yeah, he, he never lacks heart. That's why I love him. I'm so excited to see the Judd Apatow movie and everything that you do. And um, make sure to check out Borat, a uh, subsequent movie film, if you haven't already, because everybody has. It's on Amazon Prime. And um, good luck on Sunday. We'll be cheering you on.